a winner if this video is gonna be edited, posted, and the roasted. Casually waiting for the economy to collapse. But I want a job in the meantime. Now, I want a job mostly because I want to spend money. I'm completely cool with bumming it out. I've lived this life. I do this despite me being a prissy ass bitch half the time. I truly live that I don't have money life. <laughs> I don't go out like that. I don't leave the house. In the same sense, it's very, um, constricting. I don't go anywhere because that takes money. I don't do anything because that takes money. All that takes money. My B, battery died. Yeah, and I've just been craving that sweet, sweet capitalism. I'm not short money, but like, it's finite, babes. <laughs> And I'm really still working on detaching my entire existence to the amount of money I have. So today I'm applying for jobs. <laughs> I'm gonna apply for a job. Like I've been low key applying for jobs and trying to like make little side hustle type money, but it's not working out babes. Ah, okay, I'm really getting pissed off by the amount of cars that's passing by. You was not doing this before I press record. I'm literally so excited that I almost opened this thing without you guys. Sorry, not sorry. A little sorry. But yes, I finally got it. And yes, this is my MacBook case thing. Which makes me feel like I need to clean my computer. Because I should. Because I'm never gonna if I don't. But yes. Smells like that good plastic. So I got this like very pretty aqua e color. I refuse to take this out of it because I've been holding on for it to work. But I'm glad I got this because I was raw dogging it this whole time. The satisfaction. And I'm not sure which way it's supposed to go. Does it matter to me? Not that much. Not too much, girly. Not too much. I mean, it matters a little. I'm doing too much. Of course, that made it heavier, but we're doing what it do. Okay. And then here's the other part. The keyboards. They gave me two. One is clear so I could see through the John. And one is just black to lay on top of it. I mean, if they line up, they line up. This is our main culprit. I've been waiting on her for quite some time. 64 terabytes, baby, let's go! A new hard drive. Am I neutrally responsible for this? This don't even feel real. Hold on. I'm also yet again choosing to struggle with the mic because why not? The audio is manual. I'm not sure if that makes a difference. Hopefully it does. But if not, dang. To be honest, I'm very much still working on it. I feel like it's workable. I just don't have the knowledge. Also, I don't think it's like the end of the world if I like take a while to not like utilize a mic. Like I'm doing my best to figure out what and how these things work. But yeah. Homegirl really had to just come to the conclusion that for the longest, I was not filming in 4K. And it was hard to tell the difference. I'm not gonna lie. And if I look bummy, it's because I feel bummy. I just recovered from two back-to-back -back migraines and each of them took a separate nap to get over. So I'm trying to take it real easy right now because I want to just go ham, clean my room. I want to get back in the flow of editing again, but <laughs> low-key traumatized by how it's taken me. Like this is day four of me having obtained the hard drive the external hard drive getting everything together still having issues for real like genuinely cannot still export one particular 
video, made the thumbnail and everything. I'm honestly just getting through the learning curves of everything, which sucks. I'd rather struggle with the training wheels off now than falsify my knowledge and expertise and what I'm doing for real. Cause like it's lurking embarrassing. If anything, my ego's damaged the most. I thought I knew more technical stuff when it came to like how to work the camera, basically how to do everything, every single part of what I'm doing. I'm I'm the one doing it. But in reality, babes, I don't know. If an issue arises, I'm Googling it. If I get stuck on something, I'm I'm doing the research to figure it out. I, I'm okay with not knowing for real. Like it's okay. I don't know, the idea of everything not going perfectly can get overwhelming, especially for my professionistic ass. I feel a little bit behind because I was supposed to be posting two videos a week this year and I'm really, 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 really lacking by this medium sized hiccup that I'm getting through. The fact that I had an external hard drive, figured out how to move from like iMovie to Final Cut Pro, started utilizing that and the external hard drive that I had before and was working off from like that tail end when I had to change during Vlogmas, it did not occur to me that my external hard drive only had a terabyte and not only did it only have one terabyte of space I've also been using that for school like that was the one that I essentially had to get for school which I'm not mad about that came in handy when it needed to come in handy the truth is I'm still learning and yes it kind of sucks because I, I literally went to school for this if anything, I should have been known a lot of stuff about like what I'm doing. But of course, since school teaches you absolutely nothing, in debt for what? <laughs> Would you say I'm supposed to be working on not being so butthurt about that? It is still being worked on. I'm like right in the middle of like getting it together and figuring it out. Even just like comprehending that my old hard drive, which feels like a lot like sturdier compared with my new hard drive, which I almost thought was like fake because it's so light. Like I genuinely thought like I got scammed because this was $35 and this one was probably closer to 50. But this is one terabyte versus 64. I probably shouldn't be shaking it like that. I'm just saying 64 terabytes. And yes, I bought this from China. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, but don't worry. This is one of those videos for the homeboys and the homegirls who uh, are really about this videography life. I'm telling you, it's not perfect in any way, shape, or form, and it actively pisses me off on a <laughs> on a low grade scale because I just want to do it right. I just want to get it right, and then on top of that, I'm trying to find an actual job. Plus, I want to start like getting really serious about the health of my pockets. I've already become quite serious about my physical and mental health, like actually putting in effort, actually going to the gym, actually drinking water which my water bottle is conveniently out of reach yet again. Working out as consistently as I can. Of course, I'm not perfect, but I was never trying to be. Oh, and it's all the way over there. I'm not, <laughs> but I'm also trying to take myself really seriously and just not overdo it and not get mad that I'm not like actively overdoing it all the time. The goal has no ceiling. I don't have like a, I have like an end goal in mind. I have like a, idea of where I want to be and where I would be like, I don't know, satisfied ultimately. I could easily be one of those people to be like, okay, I got this. I want more. <laughs> to a creepy degree, I have manifested a lot of things in my life. And I don't know if it's like technically manifestation, technically like praying, technically like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just keep putting my focus and energy to like specific things. Keep putting my, even my mindset, just keep pushing my mindset to like, hey, I want to end up being this person. Transitioning my whole self, my whole personality, my whole like, my view of life and how I go about it, how I move throughout the day, I'm aiming to be her, which I already am. I already been her, 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 but I have to wait for my physical, my physical being to get there, my physical space to finally catch up with where my mindset has been this whole time. It was just like the simple idea of like, you know, you keep saying you're gonna get healthier, you keep saying you're gonna go to the gym, you keep saying that you want this and that. Where's the effort? The mind is really good at making up very viable excuses to not do this or not have time for that or something else's priority over something else. It's like, bruh, nothing should be more priority than my own health and well-being. Nothing should be more prioritized than like my actual aspiration and goals and dreams in life. 
You know what I'm talking about? It's on some like, I wouldn't be caught dead doing anything else, for real, for real. Of course I'm like cutting a bunch of shit out like when it comes to like editing and what you see and ver versus what like gets posted in the video. I'm still working on being myself in front of the camera because I always feel like I have to put on like a, you know, mask on type beat. Like I, I don't know why I feel the need to do it and psychologically like convinced that I have to speak in a certain way, knowing good and god well, like, I speak the way I speak, is the way I speak it. Because nine times out of the 10, I'm telling the truth. I'm speaking the truth. And not only am I speaking the truth, I'm also speaking into power, empowering folks. I'm speaking into faith, having faith in yourself, having faith in the universe, having faith in, you know, whatever God you believe in, you know? But like really take into account, like what, what do you want? You don't have to have what I have. You don't have to want what I want. Living a miserable life to where you feel like you're not allowed to have anything puts this perspective. You thinking everybody else is not allowed to have everything. You're, you're thinking like, no, that's, that's too high of a dream. That's too high of a goal. You shouldn't have that. You shouldn't even waste your time attempting to do that. No, that's you. That's you limiting yourself. I want to have the mindset of Elon Musk because this really went to space. Who's doing that? I mean, of course, a bunch of billionaires are around in space but like like the thought would have never even occurred to me to go to space i i truly thought you had to like go through nasa or get like special permission from somebody the president i don't know it didn't even occur to me like nasa doesn't own space but elon was like no not only am i gonna build my own spacecraft with my own space base manta has gas stations in space no get me on that elon musk mindset and then I'm constantly going back and forth with the reality of having that. The mental measurements of like how that would feel to literally have that type of power in the palm of my hands. Do you have to be like a grimy person to have that type of shit? Like do you have to be like a sociopath to get that far in life? Like low-key convince all the like rich successful people are sociopaths. To be that rich and successful, somebody on the line of chain who you're above is like eating dog shit compared to you somebody on that line of chain is like child exploitation like you're, you're doing some grimy things to get what you have done done and to make the money you're making i don't know if i principally agree with that and just because i don't principally agree with that is that gonna hold me back from making the type of moves i want to make making the type of money i want to make living the type of lifestyle i know i could have because who the f telling me i can't for real if you're unaware, I get a lot of my inspiration from this website called We Heart It. I've had it since I was like 16 years old and I genuinely use this as like the basis of like a, it's like a Pinterest, but like Pinterest is for like mainstream girlies. The girlies who know We Heart It know We Heart It and the girlies who don't, don't. But you know what I don't get? This is my board, my vision board. Why are all of these posts unavailable? Posts removed by creator. Posts unavailable, unavailable. It's like, and a lot of these were my like recent hearts, not all of them. And some of these photos you can recognize they're on my, my wallpaper because these are my genuine like aspirations in life. But uh, yeah, I use this as a basis to like, it gives me the visual confirmation of like what I'm piecing together, what I want. Dreams, goals, big, bigger than what I can like physically compute in my day-to-day -day life. I can't always explain to people what I'm actually trying to achieve. It's just like the, the goal is bigger than what I could fathom at this point right now. And also, for those of you who are kind of curious about like what my re hard is like, if you even know what that is, don't bend over your back trying to, <laughs> trying to find me. There's a link to it on my YouTube page. Okay, that's enough for now. I'll come back probably sometime later when I feel like ending the video.